Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Games here in Game Dev Story. Game Dev Tycoon? Game Dev Tycoon. Story is the mobile version. It's been a while since we played, so let's get right into it. We have two employees, me and Brody Lee, and we are going to develop a new game. What should we make? Let's see what we got. Game Engine. We're going to go with the new universe. I'm thinking PC. I'm thinking we might want to go with a PC game, but let's see what we can make. We are going to make a... We have ninjas. We have... Ooh, romance. Let's do a romance game. A romance... Sim RPG for mature audiences on the PC. Be a small game. We've got all sorts of uh, romance titles in the Marvel library. Oh, I know what we're going to do. Millie the model. And. <laughs> that was a terrible title. Um, hmm. Dating Days. No, it kind of feels like Dazzler's game. Uh, mate match, Frisky Fridays. Oh, and her frisky friends. Yeah, can we make some space? Perfect. So we're going to make a mature theme to dating sim based around the comic series. I mean that both in comic book and comedic. Uh, Millie the Model franchise. Uh, Millie the Model, of course, uh, was kind of a humor title. Um, some of the styling uh, was similar to uh, popular Archie comics of the day. Oh, wow, it's gonna be tricky. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Let me sim. Let's pop that up. Please, their stories. Sorry, first. Um, pardon me. Where it's uh, Millie and her modeling friends. Uh, they kind of you know bicker uh, back and forth at one another. Oh. Um. You know, have different boyfriends and such. Uh, it was an early Stan Lee title. I think uh, it may have predated the superhero um, stories, actually. Ooh, tricky, because it's RPG. We want AI to be up or dialogues. I have a feeling this is going to turn out kind of cruddy. Um, they did a update of Millie the model, um, where instead of a model, she became a uh, tennis player. Or is that her mother? Um, was Millie the model, and her daughter played tennis. We called it Fifteen Love or something like that. It's a teenage romance title. Number of her back. It was a mini series. Maybe three issues. I do have it. I think it would be great, actually, if uh, simply as an Easter egg, they would toss Millie the model in as an extra character in one of the MCU films. Make a reference to her on uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or even one of the Netflix shows. Let's see what our reviews are. Not bad. I saw so it, it bounces some tens in there, so maybe it's going to be all right. Seven five. Seven two five. Yeah, we'll take it. That should give us some money. Uh, Brody Lee, game report. Thank you. 
Cost us $452,000. Let's see what we get as that's happening. I will do some training. We need to get some more people hired here soon. We need to make some money. What can we do to make money? Half a million. That's so bad. Apparently, uh, exhibiting is expensive. We sold more in, in week two, but our rank does not go up, which is odd. I always found that to be silly. Anyways. Brody Lee, you do some research for us. Find us a new topic. Hospital, Rhythm, Game Dev, or Spy? Of course we're going to go with Spy. That's going to be the most fascinating of those possible choices. I read a whack job theory today about the uh, Batman vs. Superman movie saying that uh, Jared Leto would not actually be playing the Joker and Ben Affleck would not be playing Batman. Uh, Jared Leto would be playing uh, either Tim Drake or um, Jason Todd uh, similar to the uh, storyline Return of the Joker on Batman animated series uh, or Batman Beyond if the case may be where poor uh, Dick was abused <laughs> uh, by the Joker and went crazy. And um, they said that Affleck's character would instead actually be Deathstroke. It'd be Wade Wilson, hired by Batman, by Christian Bale's Batman to cover for him, to take over. It was a very complicated theory. I appreciate the level of um, crazy thought they put into it. I'm not going to say it was uh, convincing, but I applaud their uh, creative thinking. I always cr applaud creative thinking. Let's get another topic. Why not? Mystery. Get some detective stories. Who knows? Also, been uh, considering. Uh, I have a huge list. I think I'm on ten pages worth of ideas for videos that I will never do. Good sales off that one. And one of them is kind of a versus series. Uh, nothing like Death Battle. It's not that kind of versus. Uh, it's more of an ideas uh, and just, you know, what of two things are better, kind of a uh, greater than or less than. And uh, one of the things that kind of brought that back to my attention was for the first time I've started to listen to a lot of podcasts or some podcasts. And I have been thinking... Um, that I by far prefer the Thrilling Adventure Hour to Welcome to Night Vale. And one of the primary reasons for that is uh, Night Vale's stupid weather section. All right, one second. Uh, spy game for the Marvel Universe. Who should we have as a spy game in the Marvel Universe? la ti da ti da -ti. Of course you have everything in S.H.I.E.L.D. That is kind of a given. Ah. Uh, Agents Cheesecake and Agent Beefcake. Uh, they are LMDs, life model decoys, in the service of S.H.I.E.L.D., who specialize in ye olde honey pot. Um, cheesecake, of course, is supposed to be the kind of sexy female agent who seduces men while beefcake is well cheesecake seduces those who prefer females I'm not going to say necessarily men and beefcake seduces those who prefer males and again I'm not going to necessarily limit that to just the women stories and quests will be low engine will be higher 
Uh, I don't know exactly when these characters first appeared. I first saw them in my oft-mentioned uh, She-Hulk series from the mid to late 2000s. Ooh, we will build for the, uh, the, the GS. Um, so, in Cheesecake and Beefcake's Spy Action Adventure, let's talk to Kurt and Gillen about this game. I expect it to be awesome, of course. In an action adventure, uh, the prototypical spy game that I can think of will always be uh, Golgo 13 on the original NES. I was no good at it. It was uh, definitely just a rental, not a purchase for me and my brother at the time. Level design up, AI a little bit down, dialogues low. But at this point, we're what, at a PS2, Xbox, GameCube sort of era. So as such, we need something a bit more in depth. So let's go ahead and make this your typical open world sort of adventure. This will be uh, your GTAs. Um, what else was big at the time? Uh, Fable was there. People want the Atlas engine. Sell licenses to Atlas. It's kind of an oldie. Let's give it away. Because uh, we don't care. Atlas is old. Nice. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, uh, a 3D action adventure format. What kind of game would this be? Um, it would not simply be a choose your character. You wouldn't be choosing uh, cheesecake or beefcake. You would have access to both depending upon the mission. Um, I would prefer to be storyline driven. Uh, and then maybe when you beat the game, you can come back through as a new game plus. Uh, you can choose the other side. Release this game. I've never hit the trash game. Who hits the trash game button after spending that much money? I should again do it just to see what happens. Eight. Thank you, Star Games. Eight. Love it. Informed gamer. Of course you do. Everybody loves cheesecake and beefcake. I'll take a solid eight. Let's push it up. We'll push it up to eight. Yeah. Okay. I got greedy. Thanks, all games, for knocking me down a peg. Brody Lee Game Report. Perfect timing. Cost is eight hundred seventeen thousand because of the money we spent on marketing. Let's see if we can get some money out of that though. Fifty some. Come on. What are we going to get? Who were successful? Oh, how does that even? I don't get that. I don't get that. They ask you, "Hey, is your game to voice going to be successful?" And they expect you to say no. What, what what would that do for sales? Even if you were right, you say no. It's going to be shitty. Is that going to? I don't know what they want. No, we're not going to do an engine right now. We have nothing to add. We are going to do contract work because we can. Logo animation, play test. That's simple. Sprite sheet. Shout out to uh, Shura there, my man doing all sorts of bead sprites. Yeah, let's do the sprite sheet. It's only three weeks. That much stuff. That's easy. Well, let's do that one. Logo animation. I'm sorry, I am all over the place. It's been a busy couple of weeks. I should focus just on playing the game. Oh, but good news! Good news! My Xbox 360 is not dead. It has survived. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Um, I am, though, going to move to a month-to-month -month Xbox Live subscription. Rather than having it auto-renew for another year. Simply because I'm going to keep it until February 16th. We have a release date for Street Fighter V, February 16th, 2016. It's great. That's fantastic. It makes me happy. So happy I'm going to get two more topics. 
they announced Dalsim as a new character, which is also awesome. So we've got two new characters that left to fit to get in. And they're saying there's some open slots in the game data for what people are anticipating to be Alex and Urian, which would be great uh, if you're a third strike sort of guy, if you're a Street Fighter 3 guy, which I am not. Sorry, I went alpha. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let me do a sequel because back to the well. What did well for us? Actually, surprisingly, US 1 was well received. And it was cheap. Won't take a lot of thought. Game engine. Bing. Platform. Bang. Ha. Huh. On the road again. Ah, if I can spell again. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh yes, uh, it seems weird if Urian is going to appear as the uh, new boss because uh, I'm curious as about the Street Fighter storyline. And if Urian is the boss already in this game, um, what about Gil? You know, because Urian didn't take over until I believe um, Third Strike, so you have to go through Gil first, I guess. I don't know. So, it's kind of curious. Uh, a lot of the jokes people have been making about Street Fighter uh, V is that um, all the people clamoring for uh, Alex didn't play him in Street Fighter III, so why do they care now? And yeah, I personally don't care if he's in there or not, aside from the fact that, uh, yeah, I see that people will, are wanting him in there. And it's good to give the uh, fans what they want when you're trying to sell a game. Which is, you know, for me, it's kind of crazy because you are not only selling me a game. Uh, because of who you are and what you are, you are selling me a system. Uh, I made a decision a long time ago to no longer buy systems for one game. I think the last time I did that, uh, was probably the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and I bought that for Capcom versus SNK Card Fighters. Um, but yeah, I uh, will be buying a PS4 primarily. Uh, not for Street Fighter V, but because it has Street Fighter V. I will then be buying additional things for the PlayStation 4. A new record! Yay! Level up on our engine, air and stone, you're great, you're skilled, you're awesome. I think we're a bit premature for saving to the cloud. Give me a game report. Only $373,000, so we save some money on the cost. Let's see if the audience follows us. Right now it's trending towards a young audience. We should make a portable game and capture that uh, while we can. Do people still want trucker games? Hey, that's two nines. Three nines! Oh! All games. You guys are being dicks this time around. So while he's doing that game report, we're going to save up. We're going to do one more game before we close this episode out. We're going to try and capture that young audience if we can. 100,000. Oh, 120,000 by our second week. Perfect. So we were making some money. So, while that's still out there, new game, young audience, what are we going to make? We're going to make new universe platform. Is the GS out yet? Yeah, we're making a GS. We're going to spend that money. Spend that money. Topic. What will be good for the kids? The kids do send, uh, seem to like the uh, the One Piece these days. We do a pirate game. Time travel, music, vocabulary. Hmm. What kind of game can we make for the youngins? Space music. They like the music. We're going to make a music game. We are going to pander. A music RPG. 
Sim. Energy. Casual. Why not? Casual music action. That'd be kind of um like Owinden? Elite Beat Agents. A music RPG, would that be kinda of like um not Tales of Symphonia. The one with like Chopin stuff. Ugh. Drawing a blank. Let's just keep it. A music game. We've already used Dazzler, who is the primary musical uh, character within the Marvel Universe. Who else would be good? Uh, Daredevil from for the hearing. Uh, Spider-Man. What else we got? Mandrel. X-Men. Who would be a good musician? Dr. Octopus is one-man band. In this game, you will play as Dr. Octopus, who, rather than going into crime, he actually kind of redeems himself and decides that he's going to win over... Ah, he's going to win over May Parker by becoming a uh, musician. He's going to busk on the subway in the streets of New York. Um, he is going to play uh, a lot of uh, instruments at the same time. Um, so as the game progresses, you start off, you know, um, with your bucket drums. You're going to start off playing guitar. You're going to pick one or two things uh, at the beginning you have to pick from. And then as you get more experience, as you get more fans, uh, they will expect more from you. And you will need to learn more instruments. And so the trick will be playing essentially rock band by yourself. I've seen it done. So you, as Doc Ock... Uh, as you become a better musician, as you become more famous, will eventually uh, gain more affection from May Parker. Uh, yes, let's install solar panels because I am environmentally friendly, as is our company. Cost me some money. I don't know what benefit it gets me. Maybe more fans, and hopefully that equates to more sales. So we get some tech and design. Are we good? US, not bad. US one. Oh, fix that bug. Fix it. Fix it. All right. Let's see how Doctor Octopus does for us. New records in both design and technology, which is fantastic. Sound, we level up to level 6 because it's a music game. you got to focus on the sound. Surround sound. Brody Lee. Oh, he beat me to it. I don't... Oh, 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 oh. That is not what we wanted to see. You're telling me that kids today are not interested in overweight men with Coke bottle glasses and green jumpsuits, trying to seduce senior citizens, trying to get some of that octogenarian poon? Well, youngins, I am disappointed in you as an audience. Not even 20,000 in the first week. And we, oh, we're making money? Are we making cash? Let's see. Not yet we are. We still need to make 181,000 to make our money back. We may need to go risky. We may need to hire. So we start making some bigger games, have some more resources. You go on vacation. I am going to research. Not yet. Whew. Almost half a mil. What choice do we have? Better dialogue, dialogue tree. Character progression, achievements, AI. Branching 
storyline, 2D graphics, sound, surround sound, many of the games, backstory, physics, save to cloud, mod support. Mod support. And as they are studying that, we will let them uh, get back to work. And I will get back to work myself. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll have a bit more actual content here. I just wanted to get on, have some fun, put a video out there, and uh, clear my head. So, as we dig into a new topic, I wish you all a very good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is where you are when you're watching this. And I will see you all next time for more fun and excitement and love with Marvel Games on Game Dev Tycoon. Peace.